Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today we are going to be taking a look at Stellar and specifically the price action of XLM. So guys, as we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really appreciate that. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. Right, with that said, done that way, let's get into some technical analysis here for XLM. Now we're going to start things off with this weekly chart. And um, I do want to acknowledge that we've got uh, one Fibonacci over here on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side, both predicting out slightly different levels here um, of where things could go for the end of the bull run here for XLM. Now, uh, we can also see that the stochastic is approaching the overbought area. We're not quite there just yet. And we can see there's been pretty good progress being made since, um, you know, February or uh, sorry, March of 2020 even, right? So um, basically we pulled back in February, closing down to this low point in March, right? So from the all time high um, of 93 cent down to the lows of March, 2020, that's what this Fibonacci is utilizing. And it's showing $3.88 is where theoretically we might peak out for the bull run um, for XLM. Obviously there are several targets on that journey. We have the 1.618, the 2.618 and 3.618. So this is $1.50, uh, $2.41 and $3.32. So uh, that 4.236 coming in at $3.88. So there's lots of progress to be made on that side of things. Um, but when we actually take a look at the most recent pullback for Stellar, um, this is where we can see the accumulation zone. We can also see uh, this basically came in, I think, uh, the 21st of uh, June. Around there, we kind of found the bottom for, for Stellar here. Uh, and the high point of, uh, I think this is back in... Um, in May, right, um, of 79.9 cent. It was things were heating up very, very nicely here for XLM. It had a good run, pull back quite nicely, pretty much in line with the third wave, the uh, correction and everything else that was going on. It's slightly overextended, but pretty good bottom being found. Now, um, from here, we can obviously see that we found good support levels. And obviously on this area, we are targeting the 6187027867 area, this yellow box, and of good progress before we really talk about price discovery. Now, the 1.618, 2.618, 3.618 on this particular Fibonacci, uh, this comes in at $1.17, $1.77, and $2.37, uh, with the 4.236, the final extension, coming in at $2.74. Cent. Okay, so there's still good progress on both of these. Slightly different uh, in terms of uh, of price predicting where the bull run is going to end. Um, I think uh, ultimately you have the kind of uh, longer term kind of vision or the the one that was all time high down to the low point after the bear market, um, and then you have more recent trading activity having an impact on where things are likely to go. So uh, for me personally on XLM, I think two dollars seventy four is an interesting zone. I think we will overextend a little bit uh, I think we'll probably head up towards that kind of three dollar uh, 30 area the 3.618 uh, I think is where we'll probably end up somewhere between these two levels okay um now on this weekly chart obviously stochastic going up to overbought not overbought just yet and uh, we are tracking quite well with the most recent pullback being quite healthy so let's jump down into our daily view uh, on this brief update we can see what's going on a little bit more clearly uh, here again like we have with many of these other altcoins is that we are in the correction phase okay and we can see that there is a potential abc correction coming in here okay and this is uh, something that we've spoken about on quite a few different projects right now and i think we're just looking for an interesting area to potentially pull back to um ahead of moving further forward as we completely uh, go into price discovery once we get past the 786 um so this abc now it doesn't mean that it's going to happen it could completely be invalidated and um, but i do want to kind of point out there is something happening here that could see us come down a little bit lower now i'm going to quickly mark this up on the uh on the charts here so i did see this area as an interesting zone for us okay so i'm just going to quickly mark that this is an area of resistance here quite heavily that was then turned to support before we bounced so coming back down and finding this as a support line could be pretty key for us of course it doesn't mean that we are going to go down there because there are obviously several areas of uh, of support on this journey anyway right and we just take a look at a few of these we can see that this is an interesting support line that we've been bouncing from right now uh, and again even below that we can see that there's another interesting area just down here as well right so we can see resistance uh, and a support bounce and um, so there's a couple of areas that we want to hold if we can hold these then we won't see the c wave right if we continue to hold 32.8 cent 
um, and then basically just continue slowly moving our way up. And as long as we get higher than B here, um, then the whole thing is invalidated and we don't have to worry about it. If, however, we lose this support level and we lose this, then yeah, we're going to see the C wave. We do need to drop down lower than A in order to technically complete C. And um, so we might just actually come down to 31, right? But I'd like to put the worst case scenario out there about 28.5. That I think is where the lowest point will be before we absolutely go on another tear to the upside here for, for XLM. So everything is looking pretty good from this kind of point of view. This is a nice healthy correction. Um, and you see these quite a bit. You're in our push to the upside, okay? Now, we are oversold on the daily chart here, like we're heading to the overbought on the weekly, oversold on the daily. This is again putting us in a pretty good position to push significantly to the upside, okay? And um, so this is also helping not lose this support line. So by keeping this nice and low, and we'll keep this up here above our support, which means that we will not see the C wave correction, okay? So right now we're tracking okay. We have a little bit more room to fall down and we could of course just trade sideways here and actually take out that support and fall down here without actually doing anything down here other than just trade sideways. And um, so loss of momentum is gonna be absolutely vital if we are to see the C uh, wave come in and obviously just kind of uh, stabilize a little bit. But um, for now, obviously we want to acknowledge that the support is holding strongly, 32.8 if it continues to hold um, and then actually go up higher than our B wave, which would come in um, at anything above uh, 39 cent. Getting above 39 cent invalidates it all and therefore we will be pushing up significantly higher. So uh, everything to kind of look forward to here on XLM, we're probably only really weeks away now from a good move to the upside. Um, but let's see what's going on on the hourly. Does that change our opinions anyway? And um, when we actually take a look at these candles, we can see that the stochastic is moving up to the overbought area as we start to see this come back in. That's pretty positive. And obviously uh, if I just zoom on out here and just get a bigger view, we can of course see what is going on for some trend lines, right? So we can see that there is uh, an interesting kind of uh, downward trend being formed here. I guess we could say we overwicked that one a little bit there. Um, and again, on the upward side, there is also this really short-term upward trend that is formed here. I'll just kind of put that in there. So we can see that things are definitely tracking interestingly here um, across these two areas. Now, this puts us into a triangular wedge. Uh, and again, that could allow us to have that break to the upside. Now, obviously heading to overbought here, we will look for that loss of momentum as we push up and pull back down, retesting this trend line. Uh, this trend line is holding quite well so far with three touch points, uh, whereas this one here has two with one wicking through it. Okay, so um, interestingly enough, we'll have to see if we continue to push this a little bit test this and see if we can continue to get wedged in here for that break, okay? Um, all in all, we should see, they hopefully come to kind of fruition this week to see one of these trend lines to win over the other. Um, if of course uh, our downward trend was to win, we'll be looking for that 32.8 cent support line to hold. And in holding that, we then should see that bounce to the upside. If of course we lose that, then we'll be looking for that C wave to come in. Um, and the worst case on that would be 28.5 in my opinion. Um, so everything's looking pretty good. We're looking for some good key technical areas just to get kind of taken out. Um, so that we can progress to the upside nice and steadily here for XLM and Stella. Um, otherwise, um, there's nothing really major. I'll leave that on. Um, we'll come back up into our weekly. And it's important that you know we don't get too focused in on those short-term moves have good vision as to where things are going. Sometimes Stella does feel a little bit slow, but uh, you know, we take a look at what happened previously. It got some serious traction um, a little bit later uh, than some of the other altcoins, but um, it really did push quite nicely up to 79.9 cent and um, before the pullback. And I think we're gonna see some absolutely explosive moves here for Stella in the very near future as well. Um, so guys, hopefully you have found this brief update on XLM useful and informative. If you have hit the like button, I really appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With that said, done and out the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.